delighted to be joined by Chris Clark, who's the um, Chief Executive Chairman, is that the title, is that Chris? Yeah. Of, of, of Rigby yeah. Taylor. And uh, wonderful backdrop you've got there. It must be a, a lovely house you're living in somewhere. Well, very, it's very, very nice. good place, Scott. <laughs> but uh, the last time uh, we spoke was in Harrogate in January, and well, life's changed a little bit since then. Um, there's no way you as a business, even how, no matter how good you were at SWOT analysis, could have come up with what we've been through in the last uh, two months and what we have ahead of us. So how do you, as a boss of a big company, put preparation in place or find a pathway through? Well, I think we've, we've, we've adapted, Scott, um, to the current environment and we'll adapt again as, as, as it relaxes, no doubt. Um, it, it's, it's difficult and trading is difficult and it's tr difficult for everybody in the industry, um, you know, both on the supply side and for our customers. Um, so we've we've adapted to that by um, putting in procedures and safety procedures, distancing. Uh, we we furloughed um, a number of our employees so that we've reduced our resource to match the demand. Um, we are still taking a what I think is a fairly reasonable um, in, input of orders, so that's that, that's quite good. Um, and really, it's it's just. Doing the right thing, I think, is, is the most important. You know, we're protecting our employees, we're protecting the, uh, the, the community at large, uh, and, and we're meeting the needs of our customers as well, which I think all those things are important. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you as a Rigby Taylor is a, is a big, big family, one of the biggest companies out in, in our sector of the industry, and you're, you're very much the, the man of the house. So you must feel yes. the responsibility um, greatly for your for the people under you who you have responsibility for. Exactly. Has there been many? Has coronavirus touched closely to many of the people within the, the Rigby Taylor family? Um, no, not particularly. Um, we've not had um, we've not had anybody confirmed. Um, we, yes, we've had a few people who maybe think they might and they've they've, they've isolated etc., which is, is fine. Um, but no, it's not, it's, it's not too close at the moment, mm -hmm. and hopefully it won't be. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, the following situation, you must have been delighted when the, the Chancellor came out with uh, the talk of the rescue plan, or the wrong word really, isn't it? The, um, the help along the way plan, I suppose, for companies. Yes. You, you fitted the bill perfectly for that, so that must have been a, a huge relief when you heard that that sort of money was going to be available. It is, and it certainly, it certainly helps you along. Um, it, it's not the full answer by any manner of means, but it's certainly a, a, a really big help, mm -hmm. and it allows us to flex and, and you know and and do what it's meant to do and preserve employment for the future, and that's what we're about. And we you know we'll be here in the future without yeah. a doubt. Well, that's the thing about our industry. I mean, it is it's, it doesn't stop because grass keeps growing. So it does. and uh, you're, uh, the people you're selling to, many of those are key workers. So at least you know there'll be somebody at the end of a phone when you're phoning to see if they're requiring any new provisions uh, made. There will be Absolutely. Somebody there. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're still, um, you know, fully operational from that point of view and our factories are still operating. Um, so we, you know, basically, from a, a customer point of view, I hope it's pretty much um, business as usual. You know, the delivery system runs fairly well um, and the carriers are still active. So... Yeah, I think there's some things we can't get because, you know, the supply lines have shut down. But um, certainly anything that's, that's made in our own factories is, is still very much available. Mm -hmm. And they are talking now of, of getting us, finding the getting back to work strategy back in. And you have been working, but this, if it widens out, um, what, what are your thoughts about the timing of this? Do you think it's about right? Both wearing your welfare hat and your and your commercial hat as well. That you've got the same sort of issues as the prime minister has. You've got to if you push one, you have to pull the other, and getting that balance right must be extremely difficult. It is. It is difficult. Um, yes, you, you know we'd all like to get back to normal, but I think it's going to be uh, you know relaxation might be just around the corner in the next couple of weeks, and maybe golf may come back on uh, in a form. Um, but uh, you know, distances, distancing and controls are still going to be key to that uh, to prevent a second spike. So I, I think it, it, it won't just spring back to business as usual. It's going to be a long road out, I think. I think we're probably looking at nine to 12 months mm -hmm. before we're fully away from this um, at best. 
Um, so I think it's going to take a long while for it to return to normal. If ever it returns to normal as a you know. Yeah. Um, and as a, as a company, it's not all on your shoulders. You must, do you sit down, you have your very own COBRA committee, for example? Do you have a, a team of, uh, of, of senior management that you sit and look at the mentioned SWOT analysis earlier on? Is that something you're looking at as an ongoing situation going forward? Yes, it is. We, we, we look at that all the time, and that's how we've adapted. And as I said, we'd have to, we'll have to adapt on the way out as well. Um, so we're looking at, you know, controls that we can put in place, um, a better protection, um, or expand our operations while keeping the safety, um, you know, as a paramount goal. So yes, I think it's, um, we, we work at that all the time. We, we, I mean, certainly, you know, video conferencing has played a major part in that, you know, that we, we meet, we probably meet more now than we did ironically, <laughs> um, because it's actually so easy to do. Um, so it, well. We can be quite nimble and we, we can move quickly, which is, is key in this environment. And what about your thoughts about the industry sector as a whole? Uh, you mentioned the fact that you don't think things will be coming back to normal anytime soon, if ever. Um, do you think budgets at, the, at your customers side of things that they're going to be impacted upon you think that's going we're going to have to lower our sights a little bit when it comes to what our expectations are for profit levels at the end of a year oh i think undoubtedly so Un undoubtedly um it will certainly impact on on everybody's profitability i'm sure um and stability um and sustainability going forward that you know some businesses customers businesses you know may not make it and and i think you've just got to be um real about that and th that's going to be a fact of life i think so i think it's it, it is going to be difficult from a trading point of view going forward well i hope that uh, you've got everything in place and then when we do see the the green shoots of recovery you're well placed to take advantage of them and i'm sure you will be you're a company uh, yeah. no it's been around for an awful long time and it'll take more yes. than a coronavirus to don't uh, knock a dent into your future, I'm sure of that. So thank you very much, Chris, for giving us a little bit of your time. I look forward to seeing you. Perhaps it may well be one of the shows, wherever, uh, whenever that might be. But uh, keep safe between now and then. And, and love to everybody else back at the, at the Rigby Taylor family. Okay, thanks very much, Scott.